All right, well, we'll start the meeting. So call to order. Um, please note that this meeting is being recorded in accordance with MCL chapter 3820 guidelines. I must inquire whether anyone is taping this meeting and to please make their presence known. Okay. Can I keep going? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Okay. Um, roll call. Here we go. Alex Arbajiev. Oh, sorry. I realize you don't have a camera. He's not here. Okay. He's just also struggling to get in. So. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, Eric Arbajiev. Eric Arbajiev here. Cam Levesque. Cam struggling to get in. Um, Connor O'Reilly. Connor O'Reilly here. Lake O'Reilly. Lake O'Reilly here. Flynn Cajun. Flynn Cajun here. Izzy Rudy, I'm here. Jaden Jeffries. Hi, I'm here. Sorry, my Zoom is having problems as well, but I'm here. And in okay. class, people call her Megan, by the way. Okay, perfect. I was getting confused because Luke was calling her. I know. I think Megan. that's my I was fault. Like, I was like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> um, Luke Andre Sater. Luke Andre here. Maddie Boyle. Maddie Boyle. Mary Steinelber. She said she'd be, she'd be running late. Okay, no worries. Michaela Stample. Michaela Stample here. Piper Hunt. I think Piper said she can't come. Um, cool. Megan, Megan Garthy. We're waiting. And Shalonda Grant. Also having trouble. Okay. And, and also Ale Alex just came. So. Okay, so Alex Arvagia. Here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, so hi everyone. We're about a week away from the job fair. So that's exciting. Hope everyone's excited. Um, but in the meantime, we have a lot of stuff this week. We have a few subcommittee meetings and all that, all that fun stuff. So does anyone want to, before we like get into all of that, um, make a motion to act on the minutes of February the 14th, 2023. I make a motion to act on the minutes of February 14th, 2023. Flynn Cajun seconds. Perfect. Um, and I think Cam just joined also. So let's note that. Um, so let's vote on that. Alex Arbogeev. Yes. Eric Arbogeev. Yes. Cam Levesque. Yes. Connor O'Reilly? Yes. Flynn Cajun? Yes. Izzy Rudy? Yes. Jaden Jeffries? Yes. Lake O'Reilly? Yes. Luke Andre Sadar? Luke Andre, yes. Maddie Boyle? Yes. Michaela Stample? Yes. Okay. All in favor? Minutes approved. Um, so for oh, public comment, okay, hearing nothing, subcommittee, so we have the environmental subcommittee, um, I don't know who wants to update on that, but on, on the agenda, it says flyers for event and the subcommittee meeting that's happening, I guess it's tomorrow at 730. So. Yes, so we have a subcommittee meeting that's happening tomorrow. We haven't met since our last meeting, so there's not much to update about it. Um, but we have a proposed um, agenda for the event, so we should be getting it wrapped up this meeting, I'd say. Um, yeah. And Thank what's you. the flyer? Oh, I don't, do we have a flyer yet? I have, I'm sorry. I have it. I should have sent it out. Ah, sorry, I'm going uh, to myself. Uh, I should have sent it out, uh, but yeah. Um, I do have the flyer. I'll send it out to the subcommittee so you can have it for the meeting tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. And also there was like a, um, anyone who's on that subcommittee there, I don't know if George, if you got that, 
like email, but there was an email with like the videos that they're proposing that we show. Did you see that? Yeah. And I included that. I just sent out an email with like the meeting agenda that I made yeah. and it has the proposed agenda as well as the link. So I asked everybody if they could watch the video before the meeting. Oh, you did. Oh, okay, great. I was literally just going to do that. So that's awesome. All right, sweet. Okay, sounds good. Anything else on the environmental subcommittee? In the, for anyone that wasn't at the last meeting, the, the date that they're wanting to do the... Um, the event on it's March 25th is that right the 25th yeah yes it's so for anyone that hasn't noted that note that and I think it's March 25th there. from 1 to 3 p.m so I'll put that if okay. you have a calendar mm -hmm. okay so next is the job fair and Amy is here so Amy do you want to give a little update about what's going on and then we'll see we'll try and do like the role assignment and see who's going to be there Sounds good. And I apologize I wasn't here at the last meeting, but um, so we've got quite a few um, businesses that have joined on and we sent a, a notice around a couple of weeks ago just before school vacation week. There's a few businesses that have signed on since then. So we've got a, a total of 39 right now. I expect there's probably going to be a couple more, um, but not more than 50. George and I talked last week about the tables that we need to have um, brought over from the BACC. Um, and those will arrive the morning of the event. Pickleball happens until noontime, I think. Is it noon? So we'll need a bunch of people, a bunch of muscle there right at noontime to start setting up tables. Um, between now and that right after this meeting, the subcommittee is going to meet and we'll take a look at a breakdown of the um, of the businesses. One side of the gym will have the 14 and 15 year old businesses that hire 14 and 15 year olds. And the other side will have the 15 to 18 year or 16 to 18 year olds. And then the back is usually the place that we have for the, um, the Army and the Navy or the Marines, they usually bring their pull up bar. The fire department brings some stuff. So there'll be some of those. Cord has decided um, the, the person that used to be on the rec commission has left Cord. So they're just going to have just a table. They're not going to be involved with the, um, with the job coaching room, which is going to be again in the um, Shepley room. We wanted to have it in the room that's right, but uh, yeah, Shepley room, right? George, the- Yeah, Shepley the, room. Okay. Well, Originally we talked about putting it in the, um, like in the room that where the, the pro, pro shop. shop used to be, but that's not available. So we'll, um, so Mass Hire, Warren Rutherford and Katie Akison from the um, Cape Cod Chamber is gonna come to do the job coaching. So the assignments are gonna be at the beginning of the event, basically getting the table set up and I'm, I'm gonna need you know, a cleanup crew as well because we're gonna to have to get everything out of there um, for the evening, um, for the evening stuff that goes on, right, George? At I have no check, but I, I'm sure we have a little time. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to hustle as best we can. Yep. Yeah, and then um, um, the other thing that people will need to do is hang around in the lobby and we still need to have somebody um, create a QR code with a sign-in sheet. Um, and last year you guys did that with just a simple Google form. I can yeah. see if I can dig. Luke, you might have the, um, the form that we used last year, do you? Yeah. I have it and um, I'm going to do it exactly the same and I can make, maybe I'll send you the questions and you can see if you want anything added, but I think they're pretty good. It's like, how did you hear about it? How did you get here? What school are you from? What's your name? I think those are like pretty basic things. I don't know if there's anything else you would want to know. Nope. Um, nope. But... I think you should keep it the same. Yeah, because we've been doing it for a couple of years and with anything statistical, if you keep the questions exactly the same, 
it's a lot easier to track and look at trends from one year to the okay. next. So just okay. keep that the same. And then the other thing we need to do when we um, is put together some, I call them exhi exhibitor packets. So when the businesses come in last year, I think we just let them pick a table. Um, but I think if we can assign them to spaces and I've got an old floor plan, I forget whether it was last year, maybe it was 2019 or 2020 when we did that, I don't know. But we should have them at certain tables. And remember the past couple of years or actually every year, some of the businesses wanted to leave early and we want them not to leave early, but if for whatever, I mean, you can't like, you know, force them. So if they are going to leave, we need to have them fill out the, um, the customer service survey. And that needs to be written because they're there at the event and we get good feedback from the businesses that way. So I'll work on like some exhibitor packets. George and I can make name plates for each of the tables and we'll color code them. So, you know, one sticker will be, you know, like 18, you know, 14 and up. Another sticker will be 15 and up and then 16 and 17 and 18. So we should almost have a board like when kids are walking in with that color coding on it so that they know. So do we have like a board like that? Like one of those, you know, like a frame. Yeah. Like a white, like a yeah. right on white on white board where we could write. Yeah. On something colors. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or I can just, I'll, I'll create that floor map and then we can print it big. We'll have GIS print it big so they can mm -hmm. see where, is that what you're talking about? Like where each of the businesses. Yeah, either, either the floor map or if you're color coding, you know, the business is based on age. If there's a kid that's 14, they're going to be like, oh, I'm only going to go to the tables that have orange names or whatever. Yes. yes. Maybe both like on a, on a sign of some sort as they're walking in, you know, I think that would yep. be helpful. Okay. And on that job board. Um, you can't, the list is sortable. So like you could go to that um, first column where it says ages and click on the top on the header of the column and it'll sort all of the businesses that are, you know, 14 first and so on and so on. But yeah, I think having a visual Izzy for, you know, the walking in to the exhibit hall, if you will, will it'll make it a nice, you know, a, a, a nice experience for some of the kids that are getting there for the first time and just wondering where to go. That and like splitting up the room. So the ones on the left will be the younger age groups. The one on the right will be the older ones. So what time do you want us to get there? Like for setup purposes, what time would be best for us to get there? What do you think, George? Noon? I think like 12 30 would be fine, to be honest with you. I mean, we, we gotta get, I mean, we'll get started, but yeah, I'd say 12 30, you know. Okay. There's gonna yeah. be a lot, there's gonna be a lot of setup to do. It's a typical, you know, an event like that we run because there'll be a lot of setup and then there'll be wait. Then it'll be, <laughs> then it'll be go time, then it'll be clean up and it'll be over. Yeah. So I think, you know, you know, I don't want you guys to miss a lot of school, you know, between now and is anyone not going to be at the job fair? So you're all going to be there. All right. I'm going to be, I'm going to be there, but I'm not going to be um, like with the youth commission because I have to sit with my employer. Oh, yeah. At her table. So. Yeah, that's fine. Which one? Um, I work at Katie's Ice Cream in, on nice. Main Street. Nice. Yeah. Um, it starts at 2.30, right? Correct. Okay, so me and Maddie will still be in school until about, like, 2.51, but then we could, pr I could probably ask if we could get excused early to leave, but if not, our school's not far away from there, so we could get there right at, like, 2.55. That's fine. Yeah. We'll put you yeah. on the cleanup crew. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if, if you're really, like, if there's something really important going on on Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday. 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 Sorry, Wednesday. And you can't, <laughs> you can't miss it for some reason. Um, then don't worry about getting there at 1230. Then just come later. Like, I know I'll be able to be there at 1230. Um, 
and I'm sure at least a handful of us will be able to get excused at that time. So um, if you can only come, you know, later, I don't worry about it. Right. Like, yeah, I think maybe six, six people, right, George? Yeah. Six, six people to, you know, to be there early to help set up tables mm -hmm. would be great. Oh, um, sorry, Lake. I just, I have rehearsal that night. I might be able to like not go, but I just have to ask and I can probably get excused from school. So I just have to leave like at like 345. Hey, Mary Poppins so is important too. So don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Don't do. worry yeah. about it. Well, Anytime they need to leave is fine because it's, it's not heavily like youth. Can, we don't need a ton of people to be honest. Like as long as there's people there at the beginning, the end, the middle part, there isn't a ton to do for the youth commission other than just like sitting at the table and making sure people are using the QR code. Um, and then, and then directing that, people, excuse me though, like directing people down to the job, um, the job coaching room, because it's yeah. down the hall now, that's going to be a little bit of a, um, a struggle to get people down there. But that's something um, we may all want one of those signs for. Yes. An A-frame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Does anyone want to vol? We need, last year we had like two Chromebooks in the front, like if people didn't have a phone to use or something like that, um, just have a Chromebook. Does anyone have a computer that they want to volunteer to like put out? Okay. So we, I mean, one yeah. is fine. A honestly, not a ton of people were using it last year, but it was helpful just to, I don't know, I just tap it. Some people did. Notebooks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The iPads. Yeah. So I'll bring two. Does two sound? I think so. I think two okay. sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, gonna end up? Go ahead. Um, so I can still, so I'm on break next week, so I can still come at 1230 to help set up, even though I am tabling with someone, but I just wanted to let you know that I'll be able to help set up. Thank you. Maybe I'll send out a little sign up sheet and I'll put little assignments on it. And so we can have like delegated things. Um, but yeah. Okay. 39 is good. I, I'm, you know, that's a good number. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. And there are a few businesses in. that I was surprised didn't sign up. So I've been, you know, either emailing them individually or, you know, like Wendy's, um, who else in the mall target? I think we had target mm -hmm. one year and that's not on there. Um, Shaw's, um, but then we got some that we haven't had in the past. So that's all good. Resort and conference centers looking. Oh, and the other one I was, um, as part of my other job, I heard that, um, in the Cape Cod mall, there's going to be an inflatable park. That's like mm. temporary and they're looking for 16 and up to, to mm. work there this summer. So I'll see if I can find out. They might not have all of their permitting completely done but i'll check in with the mall again and see if they have any more people so is i know is <laughs> like there where the rockland where the carnival is george so the oh. carnival is going to come in and then leave and then this thing's going to set up for the rest of the summer i guess oh. yeah so how is the promotion like to students and like parents going i know mary was supposed to do the I'll call. I don't know if she has. Um, I don't know. Mary, did you join? I can't see right now. Mary's still not on. Okay. So I'll have to check in with Mary about that because that's kind of important. Yes. Um, so that should happen probably Monday or when or Tuesday. Yeah. Well, honestly, like one tomorrow and Tuesday would be good or something like that. Yeah. Like I honestly was thinking more than one, but I don't mm -hmm. know if she's done it. So let me actually text her. Yeah. And so um, to answer your question, before school vacation week last week, I sent the, um, the same uh, graphic and the flyer to all of the school administrators in all of the districts from Plymouth down to Nauset, all of the private and public schools. Um, and then I created a Facebook event page on the HYCC page. So if you guys go, <laughs> go to that and like it and share that, that will help. 
if you guys do it on your, and I mean, we don't have a Snapchat or um, what's the other thing that you guys use? If you guys can, you know, circulate that flyer or that graphic around on your social networking pages, I think that will, you know, get to a lot of your peers, right? Yeah, Michaela, I think, posted it on our Instagram. So I think awesome. we should all go and repost that again and do that. Yeah. Right, Michaela? Am I, I think you did. Yeah, it looks like that. And I just posted it with a little thing at the bottom saying what it was about. Awesome. And uh, radio, we have not heard back. I don't know, George, you heard back from somebody, right, on radio? No, it's... It's hard to get radio to do, you know, to help us promote when we don't like have any money to, <laughs> to buy ads. You know, that's kind of just the way it is, I think. But um, sending the the public service announcements and then just reminding people, I think, is is um, is what we can do at this point. And just so we know, the buses were ordered right today, George. Yeah, they were ordered months ago. Oh, okay. I don't understand well, there was some confusion. I just wanted to make sure that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened. And um, what else? Has everyone seen announcements in their schools? Like, I've had it in my announcements for the past few weeks. I've made sure that it was in there. Have you guys been seeing it at your, like, at Barnstable? Is it, like, I don't know how it works. So they're, like, announcements or something that it's in? or I haven't heard about it at all, so... No, uh, Freeman put it on um, her like emails, and then the TGA oh, teachers okay. have also. Um, uh, maybe it's just my TGA. Then. Is there a place where you guys can print and post those flyers? I was actually going to say something. Um, uh, Mister Mister Farrell, he's the teacher that runs the Barnesville News. I could pitch it to him and see if we could put it in the Barnesville News. That would be great. Michaela's yeah, we also have bulletin boards so we can put them up around there. That would be great. Um, me and Maddie went around our school and hung them up in the hallway. And then we were just talking about it too before the meeting. I'm a part of the morning announcements team, so I threw it in there. And then probably next Monday at our like morning assembly, we'll go up and say something about it too. Awesome. I can have um, whoever does the announcements at my school put it in like the document that teachers read to our advisors um awesome. just so that it can be in the Cape Cod Academy stuff. Yes. perfect I texted um the flyer to my Nauset friends and they gave it to their vice principal and he's like putting in their announcements or something so that's good mm -hmm. it's posted around my school um it's in the announcements so I think we're good on that I mean I feel like we've, we're doing a, the most we can to advertise so you know I actually we'll, just we'll remembered too that like on like our weekly email blast to parents too, if there's something that mentioned it as well. Nice, mm -hmm. great. Have all your moms and dads and caregivers repost it on their Facebook too. <laughs> I'm sure that will go a long way. Yes. So I will also send uh, around an email to all the businesses that are participating before the end of the week this week and giving them a little, like, this is what to expect. Um, you know, check in with us by, you know, 1.30, let's say. And, um, and I'll ask them all to repost and post on their networking as well, because they want lots and lots of you students to come and apply for jobs. It's getting yeah. to be really popular. And I think a lot of businesses have had a lot of success with it. So I'm excited. Thank you, you guys. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope we at least match our numbers from last year because last year was really good. We had like, what, like 480 people or something mm -hmm. so or kids. So we'll see. Yep. Yep. So how does it work? Do kids from Martinsville will have to sign up to go on the bus? Or like, how does that work? I don't actually I think, know. I, this is my first rodeo, just so I have no idea. I just I got the buses there. I don't think they have. I don't think they have to sign up. I think it's just go ahead, like you know. Yeah, I think they just kind of like go. Like yeah. when I did it, I did it in like ninth. It was either like eighth or ninth grade, and we just kind of like went outside and we're like we're going. 
really just how do they know they're taking the bus though like how do you know that that's the bus going to the hycc for the job fair there was like a bunch of kids like uh like a bunch of my friends were going so i just kind of like that's probably i don't i uh, it's i think i think they just like announced it or something like that oh so who's in charge of announcing that at barnstable we don't really have announcements so i'm not really sure because like we we don't have regular yeah i can i can um go to the front desk and yeah there's a lot of about that there's a lot of new leadership there. So I think it's important to, you know, to make it clear and understand. Is there somebody on the subcommittee, I wonder, that can kind of hang back? Yeah, back I, I can to, do it. Yeah. And then oh, perfect. So instead of coming to, you know, help set up, that'll be the first thing, you know, stay, be at the bus line at school and make sure everybody gets on the bus and and then go on the bus with them yeah and just know that the buses are for like that there's that option to get there via the bus because last year like so many kids came from the bus i was like how'd they all know know about it right but okay so that's interesting so i just wonder i guess i'm wondering how it's announced to kids that there's going to be buses over to the hycc because it's all well and good to have two buses but like where are the kids (laughs) Yeah. So I guess I'm just interested to know that. So So I talked with Erin Eastman yesterday. I can touch base again with her and see if she can. I know that she's on that end helping to orchestrate. Um, But if, Lake, if you said you were going to go to the front office, I think that's a a good place to find out, you know, like how, how we're going to make sure kids know how to get on the bus and, um, you yeah, know, and do just you know like, the specific person that I need to talk to about that? Like, who have you been? Mrs. Friedman. Oh, Mrs. She's, Friedman. Okay. Yeah. Or um, was it Nicole George, her assistant, or the assistant principals? Like, but go to Mrs. I Friedman. I think Angie she... is her assistant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll just ask. Her. Yeah. Yeah, so I think um, the way that they, in the past, the way that the kids have known is there's been flyers put up at the school. There were announcements of some kind made, whether it was an all call um, or whether it was an email, maybe. All right. So for now, what we need to do is just, I'm gonna send out an email for like signing up for a little bit of like who's doing what we're going to make sure we have visuals when people come in and I'm going to make a QR code. And other than that, just be prepared to get, I'm pretty sure George can send out like a dismissal thing for all of our schools. If you're someone that does want to get dismissed at 1230. So we'll send out a group text if you're someone that can or wants to get dismissed at 1230 to come and help. Um, and we'll make sure that happens for Wednesday and make sure you're wearing like a youth commission, one of your youth commission shirts or sweatshirts or if you so don't any have of one, your, we don't have one, we have some here. So, yeah. So that's that. Anything else on the job fair before we, we're move just going to want to get a group picture of the subcommittee, but yeah. so are we meeting as a subcommittee after this meeting or did we just, yeah, meet? I think, I mean, I, I think, think briefly, we, I think we do it briefly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. don't, yeah. All right. So in the interest of moving it along, I'll let you let me know. Okay. If you need anything else. Yeah, because one love's coming up just as fast now. Yeah. Yeah. So. so one love confirmed at Barnstable High School for April 5th. So yeah. sophomores, April 5th at Barnstable. Luke, what time did you book the gym for uh, the pack for again? It was second blocks, I believe, 8.23. Yeah, so sorry, I'm sick. We we booked it. Um, we booked it from the, we actually booked it from first block to the end of second block. So I think we were thinking that we could go from like advisory into second block and do those two. That way, like people, if they're late to school, they can just like, be late and then when they come to advisory like they'll just go straight from there like to the pack 
and then we'll do like advisory and then second block and then oh. after second block they just leave what, what time is that then so i think that's um eight eight twenty eight is when advisory starts around then um and then i think d block goes until like 9 40 something I it's don't still know. 10 on wednesday 10 so. 07 oh and oh and we did it on wednesday too right yeah okay yeah so sweet all right so so oh sorry i've got my alex back in um so we have everything we we have the pack book we have i mean i'm assuming most of us now also will be in attendance for that so we what do we do next we got to book the uh, separate the classes out how do we do that you know how many adult facilitators do we need is he muted thank you well, i think that this year like last year we had it separated so that i mean i'm not i'm for some reason i'm not remembering why exactly we had it in both the um the pack and the light was it the library that we had it yeah we had um, it in the pack the night hall and the library yeah so that was a lot um and now the oh, sound didn't know. travel and all of that so i think this year we should just keep it in the pack um while it might be feel kind of like busy in there i guess you could say like i think that's just the easiest way to do it is to keep it all in that room um in that auditorium I don't know. Do you guys agree with that? I think that's the easiest way to do it. And just like we separate it, separate it out into groups from the beginning, the groups that kids are in, you sit in your group and then we just do the presentation and the leaders, the facilitators of the groups, like just stand with their group from the beginning. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So that way we don't have to book the extra rooms and we just have the one set up in the auditorium. Yeah, I think, um, you were asking in terms of like also like um how we're going to group people together so lucas in the past what he would do is he would just grab a roster of the grade and he would like randomize it and then he would put the groups in like that but i always found that like it was kind of hard like once people like showed up and people like um like to get into their groups so i'm wondering yeah. if there's like any other like alternative way we could do that like maybe we could just like like we could look at the numbers of like how many people are in the grade and we could just like ask people to get into groups of 10 or something like that. Like, I don't know if that'd be too hectic, but like, I feel like maybe that would be easier because then people would like, cause the problem we always have at Barnstable is nobody talks. Like yeah. everyone gets in their group and then nobody says anything. So and my so, thing, I don't know. wait, maybe we could have like people as they're walking in, we could have like an adult, someone who like people would <laughs> listen to like a police officer maybe at the beginning going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you go to the front corner of the room group one yeah that's smart i think that's smart I think we just because you're you're so right like when people come in we've had to be like oh what's your name and go through like the 300 whatever 400 kids it's so and find hard to their do that at school too because like people like nobody knows yeah. who anyone is and so. I, I think in the past he's done it randomized because he's like oh i don't want them to be like friends and whatever but you're also right like no one really talks so maybe if they're friends it might kind of help them yeah i think we also so, kind of want that too like i think yeah get a better discussion so i think that that might not be a bad idea i mean as long as we have someone who the kids will be like respecting i think that's fine and we need to then have one door in because it's yeah gonna, you know what i mean okay that's gonna be a lot too to deal with um yeah so i think what we need to do is like really like like who like who's gonna be first of all who's gonna be that person like or people grouping i people think together. we might need to talk i think this is something that we definitely have to talk about the subcommittee we have a subcommittee meeting tomorrow at 6 30. okay and I think um, that that's something we talk about then is like, how do we want to organize that? Wait, you said that's tomorrow at 630? Yep. Okay, I I should probably try and come to that, especially if you're talking about Barnstable, because like, I feel yeah. like that would be useful for me. I know, I know I'm not like on that. I don't I don't think I am, but... No worries. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that... Um, oh, what was I going to... Oh my God, I was going to say something about that. I don't remember. It's not relevant, so... All right. Isn't, well, um, 
you're going to have five uh, police officers, four SROs available. So whatever you need us to do, as far as um, grouping those kids together, just let us know. Okay, okay perfect. We'll All right. Sweet. Yeah. So there, I guess that's our I think answer. that would be good. I, I totally agree with you because it's been so hectic because of like the organization in the past. It's going to be so much easier if we just like pick 10 kids and send them to the front of the room. We just need to see the roster or we just need to know the amount of kids really then. Yeah. And that's not really hard to get. I think, I think we can go to like a hub and get that pretty easily. Um, and the other thing I kind of like about that too, is like, I think people will just like, like if they're not with their friends, they, they might just like automatically shuffle. Like even if someone's telling them where to go. So like, it might just work out better that way. Like we just have better yeah. groups like that way. Yeah. So I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, I think it's good to have someone directing someone and where to go. I, I think random groups is like really doesn't work for Barnstable. Yep, agree. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Um, I still haven't heard back on a date for um, Sturgis, and I don't think Flynn has for Cape Cod Academy. And what's Michaela? Is there any update on St. John Paul? Um, no, but I can talk to our principal about it tomorrow if you want me to. And okay, then sounds good. Maybe come to the the subcommittee and say what she says. Perfect. Yep. Um, okay, so I think that's it for one love, and we'll we'll definitely talk at the subcommittee tomorrow. So six thirty tomorrow. Um, next is a youth summit. So we're not sure of the next steps. Subcommittee needs to meet. Yeah, definitely. So I think that the next steps for this are just getting the hub, the hubs, I don't know what they're called, like the names of them and figuring out the schedule for the day, um, which is definitely a lot and figuring it out, figuring out how many times each speaker is going to speak, which I think last time we did two, like they spoke twice each. Um, and I think ordering the lunches as well are the next steps. But yeah, I think the subcommittee needs to meet for that. Um, I don't know, George. I don't know if you have any updates, George. No, I mean, like I said, I was kind of confused to the point where I was, when I should go in next. Uh, I emailed the, the vice principal for BIS with no response. So I'll email uh, Jason tomorrow and get at least get the hub names and figure out to get like the seventh grade like class list too and so Lisa can start that process and i'll email dave Badeau about lunches because i don't know how that works too so i'll work on that stuff tomorrow but uh yeah no the, the guy from dynamic influences still hasn't called me back he said he was in but i haven't gotten the contract yet for him so i'm just trying to track him down too called him a couple of times okay the other thing that we need to do for that is make sure we have the peer leaders like booked for that day so that they know and also all the clubs. So, yeah. so I don't know how they did in the past, but I think they had a way for clubs to sign up. Um, so I guess like another thing to do at that meeting would be to like find either find that sign up sheet or like make a new one, and then probably assign somebody to go and and um, talk to Miss Swindler. I think who's the one who runs the peer leaders. Yeah, Connor, what's a good day for you next week? I can do any day next week, so you I'm complete. Want to aim for Tuesday next week? Yeah, that's good. Does that sound good? I mean, I, I don't remember who's on the committee right now. I don't have the sheets in front of myself. Yeah. yeah. Who's, who's I'll send that? out a text, but um, yeah, that's good for me. All right, so let's do Tuesday, like around 6.30. Okay. So I'm just I'm just thinking out loud here, but there is a there are a lot of moving parts because like my next steps are all over the place. Like we need the the lunches, the like agenda of where everything's moving. We need the peer leaders. Um and then there's also in the past we've done like the raffle cards where people like stamp, you know, they have to get like a stamp from three clubs and whatever, whatever it is, like a little card and then they enter a raffle to do that. Um, and then also the little, the booklets for each of the kids. Last year, we were thinking about not doing that. Um, so I don't know how we feel about doing that. 
Um, and we also did the lanyards. So I don't know. Again, last year we were considering not doing the pamphlets or pamphlets or the lanyards. But I do think I think the lanyards we can skip because those were kind of like, I don't really know if that even helps. I mean, they're supposed to like say what group the kids are in um, to try and keep people together. But I just don't know if it's worth it. It was a lot of work. It had like each of the kids name and what they're doing. And then we had to organize it into each group and deliver it to the teacher. It was just a lot. But the pamphlets are helpful because they it has the schedules in them for each of the teams so that it can keep people together. So that, those are things maybe for the subcommittee, but just know that there's a lot of moving parts going on with that. So yeah, we definitely have to start, you know, doing all of those things. Wait, you got a question or thought? No, she already answered it. Okay. So how, I mean, yeah, we can talk about it in the subcommittee, but I think maybe ditching the lanyards would be helpful because that was a lot, that was a lot of work and organization. Um, but yeah, so we can meet next week about that. And Connor, I'm going to share the Google Drive folder with you. We have a whole drive folder with all the information from last year, um, like a map of the building and the schedule and an info sheet, just like a ton of stuff. So yeah, gonna that's going to be super helpful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. I don't have anything else on that, but um, anything else on the youth summit before I have a little final thing to say. So, okay. I was just going to say if anyone knows that they can come on Thursday to the um, town council meeting, um, I'm working on the slideshow that we're going to present. And I just want to know if I can assign people to to pages so that we they can each talk about a page or a slide, sorry, on the slideshow. Um, it's just basically like an update on what we're doing and what we've done, what we're planning to do um, in the Youth Commission. So does anyone know that they can come? Luke, will you tell me who's raising their hand? At what yeah. time is it? I believe it's, is it five? No, it's a... Uh... Uh, seven? No. Oh, gosh. I don't even remember. I think it's like 5.30 or 6.30. I think it's 6.30. Yeah. All right. Well, Cam's raising his hand, so that's good. I'm raising my hand, so that's good. Jaden's okay. raising his hand. Wait, who is it? So Cam? Cam, Luke, Jaden, Izzy. Yeah. And then anybody, is anyone else interested in coming to a town council? Seven meeting? o'clock. Seven, seven. o'clock. Okay. okay. All right. Could I be like five to ten minutes late? Yeah, honestly, like the way that, uh, like, he said that he said, um, he's gonna put us at the beginning of the meeting. Okay, I mean, if but, you, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, don't sweat I, yeah. I don't think yeah. it's a big deal. You can, if you want to come five minutes late, like, I, yeah, I don't I'm think. Sure that's fine. I, usually, like, I feel like with town council meetings, like things tend to take slow anyway because it's just like how it works. So. Yeah. Okay, so I'll come too, but I just okay. get a little late. And like, okay. the other thing I was going to ask, um, and that actually made me reminded me, um, I looked at the slideshow, um, and a lot of the pictures are older, like they're not that old, but they're from like last year. Do we even have any pictures of us like, currently from this year? I don't think so. Because we didn't take any at we didn't really take any at the um, substance, yeah. abuse substance abuse forum. And that's really all we like our major event so far. So I was yeah. looking in the drive and trying to make them as updated as possible, but I don't think we have any from recently. Yeah, okay. I mean, I could someone could take a screenshot of the Zoom meeting and I can put it in. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. But also the other thing that is sucks about this timing of this is that we're still not done with half the stuff we're going to do. And um, usually I feel like with this town council meeting, we usually meet like in May for this. Like I remember meeting like yeah. later in the year. I don't know why we're meeting so early. He just, so. he said they just want an update. Like usually they get it at the end when we're done and this year they just want it like in the midst of what we're doing. Okay, that's fine. So I was like, okay, fine by me. So that's, so for those people that want to do that, I'll think about like what you're kind of most interested in and try and assign you to that slide on the 
presentation, but it's pretty like basic stuff we've been doing. And it's cool to be at a town council meeting. So anyway, Thursday at seven at town hall. Yeah, I just want to say, like, as part of your presentation, if there, if it's an update they want, if there's anything that you are looking for from the town council, whether it be um, volunteers for One Love or other things, um, it's probably a good time to make those kinds of announcements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so easy, easy when. Um... Presentation is done. Can you send it over to me so so we could just take a look at it real quick? Yeah, I'm planning on finishing it tomorrow night. It's kind of a busy a busy week going on here, but um, right, I'm going to try and have it done by tomorrow night. Um, fine. We can look at it there. Is it fine? No problem. Yeah, yeah, and also I took another look at it, and I'm, I'm going to add the rest of the stuff that I was going to add. That's I just wanted to wait to see if we had any new pictures because – yeah. I was going to try and add some new ones, but apparently yeah. we don't. So. I left comments like anything that I wanted to change. Like that was everything that I think needed to be changed. But anything other yeah. than that, I'm happy for, to adjust. Um, cool. yeah. I have a couple photos from the um, substance abuse forum. Unfortunately, okay. it doesn't have the commissioners in it, but it, it shows the uh, presentation and the uh, trailer. So who should I send those to? You can Me send or Luke. Luke. Yeah, or, George. Or, George, or George. Yeah, either okay. way. Anyone I'll send them to George and he yeah, can thank you for them. Um, and then I also have, I, I might have some photos. Um, actually, never mind. That's not a youth commission event. So, well, other than that, I don't really, I think that's pretty much it for the night. Um, I got one more thing. Yep. All right. Uh, Connor and Jaden. Jaden's not in the seat right now. He's probably getting something else to eat. But uh, <laughs> oh, there he is. He's back. All right. Hey, next you just Monday, called me out, uh, Jared. Rec commission again. Do you guys mind presenting again? That's fine with me. Yeah, that's right. fine, of course. All right, cool. All right. Kayla has I'll her hand up. Link for that. Michaela's got her hand up. Um, so as you guys know, I'm trying to do that, like meet the commission thing on Instagram. I've only received like four people's like profile things. If you don't want to be in it, just let me know. And I can just like put your name on a slide. But if you do want to be in it, try to send me your stuff soon. I can resend it to the group chat. So like people know what I'm kind of looking for. But just let me know. Are you doing one at a time or are you doing a, like a slide? So like on Instagram, you know how you can put like 10 pictures together? Yeah. I was just going to kind of do that and like see how many I got. Yeah. And then like if, I, if it takes more than two posts or more than one post, then I'll do a second one too. Thank you. Yeah, Love also, if, pe if people like, if yeah, we could also like take pictures of people like at the job fair too, wouldn't it be a bad Yeah, idea? and like it's totally okay if like people don't feel comfortable going on it too. I can just like put your name on a slide or whatever. Thank you for doing that. Um, sounds exciting. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Well, in that case, does someone want to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? I make a motion to adjourn the meeting, like O'Reilly. Second that, Luke Andre. Okay, here we go, down the list. Alex Arbogiev. That was a yes. Oh, okay. Alex was a thumbs up. Sorry, Eric Arbogiev. <laughs> Yes. Cam Levesque. Yes. Connor O'Reilly. Yes. Lake O'Reilly. Yes. I'm pretty sure is Flynn still here. No, Flynn she did a volleyball. Okay. Or Had to leave. Yep. Jaden Jeffries. Yes. Luke Andre Sater. Yes. Maddie Boyle. Yes. Michaela Stample. Yes. Megan Garthy. Yes. Shalonda Grant. Yes. Okay, perfect. Meeting adjourned, everyone. Um, but make sure you come to the subcommittee meetings tomorrow. And if you need the links for them or anything, um, let me, Luke or George, know and we can send you the links. But there's a 731 for the environmental subcommittee. Links out, out in email. 
and there's a one love subcommittee at 6 30 so make sure you come to those yeah and also if anyone's interested in joining any of the subcommittees like just shoot me a text like especially yeah, if yeah. you're new. Megan to Shalanda, yeah if you guys are yeah just they're not full members so and if you want to stay for a few minutes we're going to do a brief job fair meeting so if you want to stay for that feel free but otherwise you're free to go have a good night thank thanks, you guys. thanks yes. you guys thank you All right. Yeah. I think we're good to go here, guys. Okay. So we've got 36 businesses, actually. Huh? We've got 36. Oh, okay. Um, I well, have to figure well, out, George, how many don't need tables, but most of them did. Yeah, I have a list going. Okay. Awesome. I have a list going. I'm like, I'm cleaning up the, um, the job board now. Um, I had originally, I created some tiny URLs for the, the online applications, but the last time I updated the job board, I didn't have time to like put all the tiny URLs in. So it's looking a little, it needs some cleaning up. And, and like I said, some of the businesses have, um, have added, have, um, have added on. Uh, can you see how much activity, can, sorry, can you see how much activity there is on the job board? Like, do you have access to those stats or? The stats, um, I'm sure I do, Izzy. <laughs> figure out how to do that. It's a WordPress site and I'm sure there's all kinds. So I, I will, um, I'll, I'll look at that. I'll figure it out and- I'm just and interested. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, okay. So for now, I guess it's just, I mean, the making the, the Google form is going to take me five minutes. I mean, yep. not hard at all. Um, I guess on the day for this subcommittee, it's just important that we have people standing there like, and at the table. So if for people that haven't been there we have the table in the front, there's going to be the two iPads, people checking in people standing around like people in our subcommittee standing around with the QR code printed out so that people can scan it sign in and then I'll probably be sitting at the table with my computer like with my master list of who's signed in making mm -hmm. sure that their name is on there um and other than that I'm I don't know. I feel like we're pretty good. I mean, if we, if you're going to make the sheet that asks like the businesses, the questions, and yep. we'll have people hand those out during the event. I mean, yeah, there's I'll, not have, much um, I'll have that and, you know, just a sheet for them to like the, you know, just what to expect and the checklist of um, with, you know, a message that basically says, don't leave until five o'clock. Yeah. So each of them will get a folder with their uh, name tag and an assignment as they walk in. And I, I'll be there for that as well. So it's more, it's kind of going to each of the businesses. If each one of you can either, if you want to split it up beforehand or at the event, I think it's important for each of you subcommittee members to go to the businesses and thank them for coming and um, you know, make that connection with them mm -hmm. um, because I think that's important for them. Um, and that way they'll have more to put on their, um, their customer service sheet, you know, the survey that we want them to give to us afterwards. Um, and I think like right at 2.30 when the buses come in, that's like mayhem. It's craziness at that time. If there's a way that we can get the message out to kids that they really should go down to the um, to the job coaching room at some point. It doesn't have to be when they first come in, but um, at some point they should. The ones that it's their first time being there, they should be the ones that go to the job coaching room first. And I don't know if there's a way of you know, telling them that maybe Izzy in the sign in form, you know, the after they sign in the, you know, the message that you can send back to them saying thanks for coming to the youth job fair. If this is your first time be sure to um, go down to the job coaching room 
for important information or something. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, at the beginning, to... really busy. And then at the end, it's after the rush of the BHS kids, but there's this lag. And then at the very end, there's kids rushing to come in from Nauset or other places where they can't get there until right before five. Those are the ones I, I feel like they get, you know, the short end of the stick when people start leaving early. So, mm -hmm. so, and that's more, so part of the, um, the reply email too, is there should be a link to the digital job board. Um, and I'll send you that URL. So, so when I'm sorry, where do you want that? Where did you the want the digital job board? You know, where all the listings of all of yeah. the jobs the businesses are. So you they want can that refer on the to survey? that too. Yeah. On the yeah. survey, like maybe in in the in the description of it. Yeah. Yeah, or okay. something. I mean, I think just because we'll we'll leave that job board up. And if any other businesses want to sign up for it after the youth job fair. So it's a resource at any time of year for youths to know which businesses, you know, hire. Because well, before what we could, yep. Sorry, go um, ahead. Okay. The, I was the purpose say, like, of this event was to kind of, you know, give kids that were looking for their first jobs an idea of which businesses do hire at their age, because mm -hmm. you know how like sometimes they, it's hard to find 15, 14, 15 year old jobs. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say that it might not even need to be in the um, survey, but once we have all the emails, I'll have the emails recorded, you know, from the survey, we can send it out like the day after and send it with the job perfect. board. Yep. We can do I that. think that's okay. perfect. Like okay. a follow-up email. Thank you for coming yeah. to the job fair yesterday. Um, please, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I don't know, roughly in your language, <laughs> you know, yeah. here's a, a helpful um, resource for anybody that couldn't make it, or if you're looking yourself, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of thing, it'll be there forever. Yep. And we, okay, we can perfect. just keep building on that from one year to the next. So yeah, it's not going to go away like it has in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I will ask the IT, the web, uh, the webmaster for the town to put it up on the youth commission page under resources too. I think it's already there right now, but. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah. And I think other than that, we're in pretty good shape. Does someone want to do a town talk? Like see if we can get, I mean, I don't know if we can get one up in time. We did. You guys did one, we right? Did we did oh, one. we did one. Oh, we literally yeah. did one. I'm sorry. I'm blanking. There was a Alex, right. move. killed it. Yep. Oh, we did it. Yes. Yeah, and it came it's out. on the home page right now. Like if you look at the town of Barnstable um, website, it's up there. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good video. Yep. Good yep. job. I totally forgot about that. So will you let us know, know if we hear back from one of the um, radio stations? Yeah, of course. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to go hear from them between now and then, though, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. It would be really like, it'd be like, if they, they got back to you tomorrow, they probably wouldn't even broadcast to like the day before the job fair, so. Okay. Yeah, and one thing, one of the, um, the guys that I spoke with at CapeCodRadio.com told me if you guys want to call in to, you know, a morning show, they'll take that call so you can talk about it, you know, during their, you know, news time or crossover. But I can get that phone number for you if you want. It would be live though. So you want to have something a little bit prepared, you know, the basics. And maybe that's, you know, on Friday after town council meeting would be a good time. Because you're kind of, you know, you, you've already done it in front of people and you could just use the same. Yeah. Let's get that to Alex. If Alex, Alex would be down for doing it. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can get a phone number and I'll send it to you, Izzy and yeah. Alex. Okay. I'll copy okay. you, George, so you know. What do you think, Alex? you all right with that? Uh, Hope your audio is better there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Make sure you yeah. get a good signal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very stressed that day. Unfortunately, I have my, like my business, not business, my French like examination the next day. So I'm like, ex I'm just pre-warning everyone. I'm going to be kind of manic. So you have a job there? <laughs> yeah. The next day I have like my big French oral. So all right, man, don't you'll worry, do man. fine. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All like the first stress thing in the morning. just leading up to it to make sure you do. Bonjour, yeah. bonjour, let's go. <laughs> bonjour. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, but anyway, that's going to, I'm going to be like. French? I do. I take higher level French, too. Wait, you do? I had no idea. It, yeah. Ooh, she might be going to school in Montreal, for God's sake. She's yeah. going to learn to speak Wait, the language. Really? Oh, did so you cool. get in to McGill? Do you know? I did, yeah. Yay. Oh, My nephew got girl. in too. So cool. Into oh, the did? aeronautical space program. Oh, cool. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. I so if you I go, I'll have that, to connect. But... His name's yeah. Theodore Hill. Okay. And he's got like huge red hair. Oh wow. Like, <laughs> big <Okay>. red hair. <laughs> I'll I'll see if Georgie. he's on the accepted student. Rival page. Flynn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. So yeah, we call him Albert Einstein. <laughs> oh my God, the aeronautical engineer! Wow. Yep. So anyway, gonna be a hot mess that day. So everyone keep that in mind. But anyway, yeah, it'll. It's. I feel like we're in a good place, and it'll all come together on the day. But yep. Anything. It'll else? be fine, and and you know what? Something will. Something will will go awry, but we'll handle it. Because we've got yeah. every, oh, we've got all the basics that are, that we've done oh for God. seven years, right? Yeah. So. Remember just, last year they year lost, thing. they lost a kid last year. Oh. Oh. Remember? We had the police officer pa there. Patty was going you don't remember? Her. Yeah, I remember that. Oh. And they were like, we can't find this kid. I remember that because it was, for some reason, it was a big deal, like, on the front desk. And, like, that's yeah. where the commissioners <laughs> were. And we were like, I don't know how this is our fault, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Paula told me from Channel 18, she's going to be there with all her gear too. And I oh, talked cool. to her about like maybe after the fact, we can like identify a couple of the businesses that we can interview for a post kind mm -hmm. of, and maybe you use this at your year end report for, with the town council where yep. we can get some little sound bites from like Paulo from Candy Corner and Katie's um, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff you know to kind of say oh this is a great event and because I'm leading into we should either write a grant or try to get some money from you know an organization that we can do some advertising and do you know take it to the yep. next level wait is this yep. wait is this the this town council meeting that we're going on to this this thursday yeah. is this just like a mid-year thing like do we have another one that we're doing after this who knows it i don't know it wasn't clear okay. all right okay, okay. if the council president there. calls you you answer Cam knows <laughs> every time he calls him he has to answer yep yeah. yep and it's good i mean he's he's putting you on a um on a pretty important stage to um and it's recorded right so it can always be looked at and referred back to wait so are we are we we're doing this on zoom right correct no in person i think it's in person oh yeah. this one's in person yeah okay. it's at the town hall all right cool all right that yep. that uh that changes things a little bit i thought though i thought it was over zoom like last year it was zoom last year they're in person now yep okay Cool, cool. Yeah, All there's right. been a lot of talk that they want to, you know, have more in person, I think. Yeah. Be nice to do yeah. hybrid, but mm -hmm. something to be said about being there, right? Yeah. Definitely. Sure. All right. Any anything else while we're here? No, I think we're good. Who's the okay. I'll be in touch. I'll make sure and yeah. uh, email. I don't have everybody's emails here, but I'll make sure and communicate with George, Izzy, Alex, Luke. 
Um, and then George, you can forward to everybody else or Izzy, you can forward reports out to everybody. So yep. try to get the, well, I'm, going, I'm working on the job board right now. There's a page on businessbarnstable.com that has all of the information about the youth job board, including the town talk. You just click on it and you can watch the video. I'll send that out to you so you can send it around Izzy before Thursday. Okay. So everybody that is um, at, who's, who's gonna talk about the youth job fair at town council? It's part of the um, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't, don't know, know yet. I'll, I'll assign it, okay. I'll assign it tomorrow, yeah. Also, is it, I'll help you more with it now because I'm gonna be honest. Like I thought it was just gonna be like last year, and we just kind of like went through the slides. Like this is this is a little bit more different. So yeah, you gotta up your game a little. I'm gonna like <laughs> wear a suit. To, yeah, I was gonna say like I think oh, I might have to like, wear a suit. No, uh, no, just, I'm just gonna just wear my look hoodie. Like normal teens. Yeah, yeah. That's wear right. my youth commission hoodie. They don't. They're not looking for like you know town council clones. They're looking for youth to be youth. Clones. Yeah. 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 Okay, everyone. Well, have a good night. I have a test right, to goodbye, study everyone. for, so. Take care. Bye. Right. We'll feel better. All right, thank Adios. you. Good luck on your test, Izzy. Thanks. Bye. Bye.